Coffee, do we actually need it? Now, first off, did you know that coffee is the most consumed mind altering drug? Yes, this is true. Go ahead and Google it. They classify coffee as a drug. So how does this work? Well, caffeine works by blocking adenosine. And adenosine, it actually stimulates the sleep hormone, okay? So adenosine is less released earlier in the day because that's when you should be awake. Our biological clock will tell us that we need less. And so by the end of the day, your body is going to produce more. It goes through a natural sleep cycle where you're awake during the day and then you get sleepy at night and then you should get a restful sleep. But what ends up happening is coffee blocks the ability for your body or your brain to absorb and then your body will just put these to the side. Now what ends up happening is that your body will adapt and your brain will adapt to the overconsumption of caffeine. So initially your body will be able to block the adenosine and then you won't be as sleepy. But then over time, there's going to be an overproduction of sleep receptors. And when you have an overproduction of sleep receptors, your body will always adapt to whatever it is that you're giving it. So initially you're gonna block it. And so let's say you had 10 adenosines, but then you had 10 caffeine molecules go in there and block 10 receptors. There's still 10 adenosines. So what ends up happening is you have the 10, Plus now you have another 10 of the receptors because those have got to go somewhere else. Now, once you remove that caffeine, your body now has 20 spots available to absorb the sleep, the sleep hormone, right? And so what ends up happening is you get into wanting more because one cup doesn't block everything that you needed initially. And that's why one cup always turns into two cups. This doesn't mean that you can't work your way backwards because day one is always going to be rough, right? It's just like if you had a big meal on Saturday and you're like, I'm not going to eat tomorrow. Well, that's so hard because everything is built around this mass consumption of food. And so the same thing with caffeine is that I would recommend that at least one day a week, you reduce the amount of coffee that you consume. So if you're a two to four cupper on the weekday, I get it. You have work, you have responsibilities, you have a busy life. And as such, you need no sleep hormones to be stuck in your brain. You wanna be alert, you wanna be awake, and you wanna be moving. But on the weekends, when you're less busy, my recommendation is that you either A, cut down your consumption, so go from four cups down to three, potentially down to two, and you can even start to supplement tea, where tea has less caffeine than actual coffee. And so at least give yourself two days a week where you reduce the amount of coffee that you're consuming so that your brain can recover. And if you do this on the weekends or when you're less busy, you will find that on a Monday, it's gonna be less dawning on you. You're gonna be less tired. In fact, you're gonna feel way more refreshed and you're gonna be able to sleep better at night. I get it, Monday gets busy and as such, you need that pick me up. But I'm gonna tell you, if you don't need it and it's just out of habit, try to find a better way to get yourself a boost. A boost that you can do is drink cold water, right? If you're working from home, go dunk your head into cold water, right? Just find a different way to wake yourself up outside of just consuming more caffeine. Because the more you consume, the deeper you're gonna dig yourself into this hole of creating more and more sleep hormones, and then there's gonna create more receptors, and you're just gonna need more and more coffee, and eventually this stuff's not even gonna work on you. Some of you are already there. So what I wanna do is challenge you to work your way backwards. So if you do four cups a day, reduce on the weekend, once a week if you can, reduce from four to two, you can even supplement it with tea. And let me know how Monday comes around, if you feel more alert, if you feel better with less caffeine. And I'm not saying completely get rid of it, but I'm telling you, only use it when you need it. So what I wanna know in the comment section is how many cups of coffee do you consume on average? Is it one cup, two cups, three cups? Let me know in the comments, and before you go, give the video a like.